What is going on fishing bros and bro? That's it. I went out fishing yesterday and that's why we have to shoot this video. I could not wait on this because I had a blast and I caught a bunch, including a couple decent ones. But I went to go and order more of the baits on Tackle Warehouse and I get on there, I'm clicking away, do 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 do, Z-Man, if that's kind of like a little teaser for it. And, and it shows up on the hottest buys, top seller list on Tackle Warehouse. So I'm like, oh. So this is something that's working for everybody. I'm like, we gotta do a video on this. So hit that like and subscribe button. If you guys like chatterbait fishing, you're really gonna enjoy this video, but it has a little bit of a twist. Perfect for fall. Let's get to it. So it's fall, guys. I'm just throwing stuff randomly to a boat. There's a bunch of bait running around and, and it's a fun time to fish. It can be really feast or famine, but one thing that you'll find is there's a lot of schooling fish and, and that's exactly what we ran into yesterday. But catching those schooling fish is, is sometimes a challenge because the bait's actually Actually a lot smaller in fall um, you get kind of water temps dropping which is actually a good thing it's not like spring when the water temps drop and it slows the bite down but the bait is small there's a ton of it so these fish kind of get picky or you have to make them react you have to fish super small or maybe fast or bigger and I busted out what was it first I think a buzz bait I think I caught one on a buzz bait had a swimming worm like a green pumpkin burner worm six inch really didn't catch that much even though I saw them popping up and then I pulled this thing out and this is the Z-Man um, Chatterbait Mini, uh, Chatterbait Mini Max, actually, I should say. It's a little bit different than their old micro one. This thing's absolutely killer. <laughs> and, and there's a couple reasons for it. And like I said, I went on Tackle Warehouse because I need to order a few more. Uh, this is actually the 3A size, and I went to get it. It's kind of a like a green gizzard chat. I don't even know what the hell it's called, but it's like a green and white skirt. You see how it's all bit up? You see? Like, it is absolutely chawed down, dude. What's really cool about this thing, and I've shown it in some spring videos, is it's a downsized chatterbait. You can see on the um, the, the bill or the, the blade right there, it's much smaller. It's maybe, I'd say 30% smaller than a ch standard chatterbait, maybe 25, 30% smaller. Um, you have a smaller hook. Uh, it's approximately like a two out or a three out hook. It's also a short shank style hook, which is why we're gonna talk about trailers in a minute for this thing as well. Um, it's just a downside presentation. Um, one of the most unique features, it comes in a quarter ounce now, which is actually really perfect for super shallow water, um, three eighths and a half. Um, I was using a three eighths mainly yesterday, fishing it hyper fast, like turn on your hyper drive, burning it, dude, because I was getting those fish to react going right over like a shallow a grass flat and a shallow point with a few hard spots in it. Um, so I was fishing it super fast and that's what's kind of neat, neat with this thing is you can fish it almost like a trap. One of the only things I don't like a chatterbait as the water kind of cools down is I can't fish it super fast to get some of those reactions. And um, this guy, you can su like super burn, like super, super duper burn. And it's not like a huge drag on the rod. You know, when you're dragging like a standard chatterbait, this guy just flies through the water because of that little bill. The other unique part about this thing is, so I was fishing a three ace. Really, if I was fishing a standard size like chatterbait, I would have been fishing a half ounce. This fish is deeper than, than it's comparable like Big Brother. So for instance, like a quarter ounce, I actually just ordered some quarter ounce off of Tackle Warehouse. When we get that really shallow kind of late fall winter bite where these fish get up on these flats on these sunny kind of bright days that warm the water up, a three ace for how fast I want to fish it, which is pretty slow, will be too too heavy. Basically the three ace runs depth wise what you'd compare to a half ounce. The, the half ounce actually runs more like a five ace or a three quarter ounce spinner bait in the standard size. So I'm assuming the quarter ounce, which, which I ordered some of, will run more like a three eighths ounce spinner bait, that like one to three foot range or something along those lines. So I'm excited to give that a try, but just keep that in mind when you're fishing it. It might be smaller, so you don't think it's gonna run as deep, but it actually runs deeper um, than, than its big brother, you know, your standard chatterbait size. So I was actually fishing this thing too, since it is a lighter presentation, I, you have to fish it on something a little bit softer. Um, this is a Halo Rave seven foot medium. It's kind of like a, a, a lower end or sort of budget economy style um, uh, bait casting rod. And what that means is it has a little more of a like parabolic play to it. 
it's even though it's rated as fast it's a little bit slower tip and that's perfect for um for some of these hook sets and and letting the fish actually eat the bait it's almost it's not a crankbait rod but it acts like it a little bit um, I like that seven foot too, cause I can make a long cast, but I can also make an accurate targeted cast. I was fishing it on a Shimano SLX. Um, this is the seven two. Um, so a pretty decent speed reel. Um, I like a little faster reel cause especially I'm gonna be fishing this a couple different ways. I'm either gonna be ripping it or I'm gonna be kind of burning it and I can always slow down. Um, I fish it a chatterbait a lot like I fish a trap. And especially in this case with this smaller guy, I fish it a lot like a trap cause I'm looking for a reaction. You know, I'm popping it off the grass. I'm burning it through like schooling fish, chasing bait. I don't want them to see it super well. I want it to move quick. I want them to have to make a split second decision and either eat it or get out of the way pretty much kind of like crankbait fishing i guess you could say and and we're using two different trailers and let me get them out for you here the one thing with this guy is since it is a little bit smaller you do have to downsize your trailers and what i found was perfect that kind of gave it a good hunting action so this is the hog farmer spunk shad um but this is the very small one you've seen me use this thing on the um, the scrounger heads that i run you know when i'm fishing offshore and things along those lines so what we're actually using is just that guy right there it's the 3.5 inch version um so it is pretty small you can see it has a little straight tail right on there super you know almost like fluke like to an extent um but what was nice is it added a little bit of bulk to that body it fits on this hook kind of perfect um it's it's a stout smaller hook but it is um it is a slightly shorter hook so you have to use trailers on this guy that are going to um that are going to accommodate that smaller hook like that and that thing I mean, don't tell me that doesn't look like badass, right? Like that thing is gorgeous, dude. If you fish fall like around docks and all that, this thing is naughty for skipping docks. If you've never skipped a chatterbait under a dock, try this one first. It's super easy to do it with, and it's a lot of fun. It's a super compact presentation, and it really slides under those docks, doesn't create a whole bunch of resistance, really easy to reel out. I think that's one of the things I like about the bait so much is that it's a very easy bait to fish. Um, there's not a huge amount of resistance. It's really a cast, reel, rip, you know, pick your cadence, pick your, your speed of retrieve. Um, it's pretty simple to fish. The other thing that we were putting on the back of this guy yesterday, and um, it's kind of a this is a little sneaky one that I have. Uh, so this is actually a saltwater bait. So this is a Gambler Lures, Gambler Salt. Um, this is what, it's called a trout treat, but if you guys know anything about Gambler stuff, it's, um, it's basically a big shaky shad. And so it's actually made out of a little harder plastic, but it's, it's a stick bait. You know, we always talk about stick baits being like awesome, um, awesome chatterbait trailers and that. Basically I make it into what what turns into a fork tail like that the other one that i will do on this because it is all about smaller stuff a tz this is actually what i use for my my alabama rigs it's a very like downsized swim bait um so it's like a i think it's like 2.8 or 3 inch or something like that um so alabama rigs perfect little kind of like bite size especially when they're chasing all that that small bait and that um and th this guy threads on what's nice too is it has that little micro boot tail on the back right there um so it's it's a little bit of a water displacement thing but it actually doesn't um doesn't really drag on the bait that much because i think one of the the biggest keys like i said with this thing is um your ability to fish it so quickly and kind of rip it and fish it almost like a trap but you see it's like it's like a chatterbait, only smaller, right? Like a little baby chatterbait kind of setup. This is kind of badass. I might try this. Usually I'll go red with red or red with like a like a darker color. But you can see it, it it's a perfect little kind of dangle tail. It gives me a little bit of extra ball. Um, maybe puts a little bit of um, a little bit of hunting action in the chatterbait. It's a fun little deal though. There's a reason why it's a top seller on Tackle Warehouse. It's perfect for this time of year with the downsized bait and it's super versatile because you can fish it around grass, you can fish it around some cover. Um, it, it's not something that's just an open water strictly bait, but at the same time, it's a little more finesse, a little more downsized. So go check them out. I'll put links to all this stuff down in the um, description box. I just figured I needed to tell you guys about it because I caught the piss out of them yesterday on it, dude. Like burning it, having a good time. And, and it's such a versatile presentation. I figured it might apply where you're fishing. But hit that like and subscribe button. Let me know if you guys got any feedback or anything to add to the video. I always love that conversation between anglers. And we will see you next time. Either talking about more chatterbaits, talking fishing, or hanging out with Bog. Tight lines, guys.